Uh, first of all, what an unbelievable game, right? Like, I mean, if you like college basketball, that's about as good as it gets. So great game, great atmosphere. Uh, really, really happy for these three guys for our last uh, home game to get this win. Uh, 25 wins in the regular season ties the school record. Uh, 22 straight home wins. Um, you know, and, and this year, not to lose a home game in this conference. Um, really, really happy for these guys. Proud of the whole team. But, you know, to me, today's about the seniors. So, um, really excited for them to be able to go out uh, here at the MAC Center this way. And um, obviously, as we move forward, we got to get ready for Cleveland. And we'll turn the page tomorrow and uh, start our preparation for that. I'll let you ask questions for these guys. First, Rich, ask, you well, ask the players, and then I'm going to let them go, and then you could ask me anything. Sincere, uh, congratulations. Uh, Thank you. Maybe your best, one of your best games, but certainly yes, maybe your, your most courageous. Uh, can you talk about your mindset going into the overtime? Damn, overtime uh, 18. Team, as victory snatched and you going oh, overtime, God. the emotional swing is so hard to overcome, and your very first possession looked like you were, you were possessed. Hey, I wanted to win. I wasn't going to lose tonight. Uh, Especially me being a senior and my other two seniors, I knew we, we talked, us three, and we didn't care about uh, scoring, even though I might have scored a lot tonight, but we just wanted to win. And that's how we wanted to uh, finish our, our our last game at Kent State, with a win. Since your level of emotion was evident from, from tip-off, what's that mindset like when you're entering this game, last game of the year, when you're in Cleveland at, at the Wasatch? I'm really just curious, what's that energy? And really, I'm just on go. Like, I don't really back down from anybody. Uh, I'm up for any challenge. And when I'm going to talk, when I, when I do something, I'm going to let you know it. You, you, you guys held Xavier scoreless in the first half, two for 13 overnight. What went into the guard tonight? I mean, y'all can say it's me, but it's really our big man. Uh, our bigs held it down today with Freeman. Uh, when we first played him, uh, uh, Casanetta, he had some tough shots, but he had a lot of open shots when we doubled out the post. And we ain't really have to double out the post today because our big man did great on uh, Rike Freeman. So it started off with them. Jamire, this was your first year here. So really, what was maybe looking back on this regular season, obviously with more still in play, what was maybe what a favorite memory so far this year for you? Um, I would just say practice, the days in practice, you know. Um, Competing with these guys, you know, getting into it with these guys, and also having fun with them throughout the times that we have. I would say that's probably the most fun I've had here. Can you guys talk to the crowd? I've never seen it any bigger, if it ever has been, and certainly not any more uh, noisy than that. How, do, how, do, how does that feel to you guys when you got a crowd behind you like that? Um, it gives us a lot of energy. Uh, we feel like we got the best fans in the country, and if they, they come out like that every night, it's going to be hard to beat us. Tonight is just year one, you guys just talked about the way Chris Tate was able to come off the bench and just really get two stretches where he scored a lot of points in a row and just really gave you guys a that, That's Malik's recruit, so Malik can yeah, talk about Yeah, it's my Juco him. twin, man. So Chris Payton, man, um, yeah, that was big. That was real big. Uh, Chris Payton, he's a guy that – he's a next play guy. Even though, like, he might do something bad, he go to the next play. And, uh, he getting his confidence back. If y'all even seen, it was overtime. He getting and ones and dancing. You know, like it's a close game and you dancing. So he's just getting his confidence back. And y'all gonna see more of Chris Payton. That's not the only thing he can do. Jamira, just how do you use these next six days to get ready for the next game? Um, our work is on full display, as you can see today. You know, um, I trust in our coaching staff and I trust in uh, the seniors to hold everybody accountable and just do the things that we have been doing. We have a formula that we believe in, and it's just time to execute it. Can you really talk about like what your mindset was going to overtime without Jacobs with you? Um, I just wanted to win. Uh, yeah, and, I understand. Uh, that. If he, if we would have lost, already I was gonna hear it from him all night. <laughs> so I just wanted to win. <laughs> For me, uh, um, I knew that Malik at the time had five or six rebounds, so I was like, okay, I gotta step up and make sure that. We're not giving up offensive rebounds because Malik is one of our best defenders on the team, the best defender on the team. So I was like, let me make sure that I'm on the glass heavy. Yeah, and I had to guard his matchup, so I just tried to contain him just as good as he was doing. Any other questions for the players? Yeah, 
Oh, thank y'all. Appreciate right. y'all. Thanks. And it's the last one, huh? Yeah. Ah, it was great, y'all. Yeah, I mean, look, we've had a great, great, great uh, regular season here. Great season. And, you know, now, you know, when you go up to Cleveland, you know, you just have to be focused on, on the game in front of you, play as hard as you can, uh, play as well as you can. And, again, we have a formula that has been successful for us. It's the reason our record's what it is. We just have to make sure that, that that's who we stay to, to who we are as a team, uh, play as hard as we can each night for each other. Um, I really have no clue who we play, and, and then we'll figure that out, and then you know play as well as you can on Thursday. Hope you, you it's good enough, and then move on to Friday, same thing, and um, and then hopefully play on Saturday. Nick, can you just talk about the way the team was able to overcome that foul call and really fight through it and play better after? Yeah, give these guys, I mean, all a ton of credit because you know that I shouldn't have gotten a technical. Um, you know, I, and I say that me, not not them. I shouldn't have put my, our team in that position. Um, and you know, the guys that were on the floor, they they came through at a high high level. Jalen, you know, probably played as hard as he's ever played. Vaughn, Myron, uh, all of them, because Malik was out. Um, you know, for us to be able to win the game without him, I think that really helps us moving forward too, because we haven't had a ton of games where you know I don't think he's fouled out. I can't remember the last time he has. So I just think it all helps us as we get that experience moving into Cleveland. Any other questions? Coach, you're way off question. You were a three and a half point favorite going into games. At overtime, you were a three and a half point underdog. Oh, I get it. You were a three and a half point underdog yeah. at overtime. Yeah. What did that say about the guys coming back, even though all the experts thought that Akron had it because of the way it went into overtime? Yeah. I, I hate to say I have no idea. I, I, I don't even know about that stuff. i just glad we were able to win. Um, you know, proud of the guys. That's really what it comes down to. Because, to at, yeah. At overtime, at when you guys play, can you bottle that? And yeah, we just got to play. Yeah, we got to play as hard as we can each night that we're out there. And everybody's minutes, every minute that they're on the court is incredibly important to our success. And I think they know that. Um, Julius came in and gave us a ton of, you know, provided some big minutes for us, Julius Rollins. And Chris obviously had one of his best games off the bench. And, um, you know, the, these guys were able to come through for each other uh, in a big moment, you know, because like you said, we, we, we were in an adverse situation. We had given up two points because of me. And one of our best players had fouled out of the game. So um, they did an unbelievable job you know, coming together and finding a way to get a win on senior night for these guys. So rebounds thirty five point yeah. seven in your favor. That's a big that's deal for us. Be. Yeah, that's part of it. That's part of what we need to do each night. We have to rebound, we have to defend, we have to score in the paint, which we did. We had more po paint points than them. And those are the things we just have to focus on. Can you just talk about CC's performance and if you've really ever seen him play with that emotion and just really that energy? Yeah, you know what? He played fantastic. I don't know, you know, to me, he's been an unbelievable player his entire career. Uh, certainly his two years here at Kent have been amongst, if not the best of any two-year player to have played here. Um, and I'm happy for him, again, that we're able to go out, you know, with a win uh, and him play so well, you know, here tonight. Because, um, you know, I'm sure it means a lot to him. And if it doesn't today, it will 20 years from now. I do know that. So um, really, really happy for him. Just with the seniors, is there maybe a favorite memory of this game? Is this the four you guys Well, look, I'll just say tonight, like, you know, this is this was as good a game as I've, you know, I've ever been a part of, you know, and I'm glad we won. And I may, maybe wouldn't be able to say it if I was on the other side of this. But again, I, I think when you know that, that that next week for for a Mac team is is the week. I, I would think John would probably say similar. You know, one of the best games you've ever been a part of. One of the best games I've ever been a part of. And you know, we made one or two more plays, and that's why we were able to win. Um, being at home, the whole deal uh, is just a great great win for us. But again, we have to move the page, turn turn the page, and that's it's always been difficult for for teams after beating your rival, both both teams. And, and I've been in this deal long enough to, 
to know the next game is always a really difficult game. So we have to make sure we're really prepared for Thursday. How do you overcome that? Game? Yeah, we're, 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 we're going to make sure we focus on Thursday. You know, I talked about it a little bit in the locker room that, you know, our preparation starts with how we handle tonight and tomorrow is an off day, getting treatment, making sure we're taking care of ourselves. And then we'll come in on Sunday, we'll practice light and uh, take off Monday and practice Tuesday, Wednesday, and head up to Cleveland. And um, do you know who we're playing yet, Aaliyah? Or not? It's still not determined. Uh, Buffalo, Buffalo right now, yeah, OK. So we'll figure that out and get ourselves ready for that game. And then we're going to have to play well, because Northern beat us and uh, already in Buffalo. Um, you know, Buffalo is one of the elite scoring teams in the country, so we'll have to make sure we're really ready for that. Coach, I'm curious about the fan reaction. They start chanting MVP. Yeah. Right, as a success on the free throw line. Uh, well, great performance there, but how much do you appreciate the fact that they appreciate him like that? Well, I'm glad, I'm glad they do because – uh, guys like him don't come around very often. So I'm glad that for him that, that he was able to hear that uh, and for them to recognize just how unbelievable two years he's given to Kent State. Um, and hopefully he feels that Kent State has, has given him as much as he's given to the program. But um, I was, I'm, I, I'm really happy that, that he was able to hear that because – you don't find guys guys like him don't come around very often, so uh, you got to appreciate it when 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 you have players like that. So I'm happy for him uh, and happy that our fan base recognized just how uh, unbelievable a player he has been for us. When you guys played at Akron, you mentioned that you weren't entirely sure what they guys came out to start that game. Tonight was obviously the reverse of that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean the crowd and the energy and 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 the focus because we didn't play well there, you know. Like you put it all together, and you know we knew we had to start the right way, and we did. And uh, we had a little lull there, you know. And and give them credit, you know, they took the lead after us having the lead almost the entire game. Um, you know, they're they're a resilient and and a really really good team. I mean, they're, you know, they're one of the best mid-major teams in the country, just like we are. Their coach is a tremendous, tremendous coach. Um, and they've had a great season because they've had some injuries that they've had to overcome, just like we have. They have two of the best players in the conference. Um, you know, and, and guys that are developing. Sammy Hunter had an awesome game, just like Chris Payton had an awesome game. Like guys that are developing, that, that are playing better and better as the year goes on. So, um, you know. We, we knew we needed to, to play well, and, and I, I thought it was just a great game with two, two really good teams. So looking at the standings, Akron's three, so like when you guys have beaten, how would you feel about a potential rematch next Friday? Yeah, I mean, that's great because that means that we won on Thursday. So I, I hope, you know, if we win on Thursday, we'll worry about Friday, Friday. Mm -hmm. It certainly will be a, a heck of a game if that happens. Um, but. I'll be happy for it just because that means that we won on Thursday. And when you get up to Cleveland, these games are, are, are really, really difficult up there. And uh, it's March basketball, so things like tonight happen in March. That's what March is about. Any more questions? All right, thank you guys, and thank you for all season. I appreciate it.